get it. This, this is the rumor report. They call me Soldier Boy sometimes because they say it sounds fake, but I swear they're all true. <laughs> On the Breakfast Club. Oh, your Jordan stories are great. If you live long enough, you gotta have stories. That is very true. You know what that I mean? Very true. Talk, talk, talk. Talk to him. All right, so Saucy Santana is facing backlash for roasting a woman on set. There's a clip that's been going around. Uh, Saucy has some of the girls in an uproar over some things he had to say on a set of a video shoot recently. Now, this video came out where Saucy is interacting with an unidentified woman. When she walks away, Saucy starts complaining about the type of woman that apparently uh, his team brought to set, referencing the woman who just walked away. And then y'all even got no bad. She ain't had no BBL. Her makeup one done. Like, what are we doing? So, like, the need a BBL? Yeah, like, they ain't got no BBLs, no mink lashes, no lace wigs, no nothing. She just came out and said, Now, social media users were not happy that Saucy Santana was body shaming a woman who chose to be natural. Some people showed their disappointment in how common it is for people to flaunt the image that have been heavily altered. Mm -hmm. One person said, see, this is the problem now. Another one said, three BBLs and still being built like a hot air balloon is crazy. He got some nerve. But what do you feel about it? You're, you're, you're natural, right? I am natural. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any plastic surgery done. I had some fillers done. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. Um, I think we're at a place now where natural is looked down upon now. I remember people being in my DM saying, you need to get your butt done. I'm like, mm -hmm. my butt will be done from squats and from hitting the track. Mm -hmm. And that ship has sailed for me. I just think, listen, Saucy, you're free to do what you want with your body, and you have, mm -hmm. and that's cool. But leave leave natural women alone because it's hard, it's hard now. We get compared to people who have spent thousands of dollars on their bodies mm -hmm. and shame for not getting surgery now. Yeah, and I think I think a lot of these women look alike, right? They they're all built the same. They, it seems like they all go to the same doctors. They all look like, as Miss Pat would say, like big ants, uh, with the huge uh, ass in the back. And and I think it gets to a point where we have to start saying natural is fine. It doesn't matter what your body type is. You don't want to look like everybody else. And that's why I always said, you know, parents, make sure you love your children. Tell your children they look beautiful every day. Tell your children that they're gorgeous every day because you don't want them to look like everybody else, you know. And honestly, there was a point where I'm thinking, do I need to get something done? But then I had to check myself. Like, mm -hmm. it's okay to look different than everybody else. I love the 90s, the music videos. There were so many pretty women that they, that's how they, they really they really looked in person. They mm -hmm. really were that type of beautiful person. So, all right, Santana. All right, next up, um, Fat Joe gave the backstory on his popular name, Joey Crack. You know the story? I didn't know. I, I heard yesterday, but I thought Joey Crack was, you know, he came up in the, in the drug era. And we all knew, you know, old Fat Joe was a gangster and a hustler. So I thought it was crack as in Joey slung crack. I thought the same thing, too. But the, the actual story is a little bit uh, more, um, I don't know, simpler than that. Fat Joe recently tweeted where the name came from, and it's not at all what we expected. He said, listen, they call me Joey Crack because... The crack of my ass showed whenever I stood up. <laughs> That's funny. Girls in my hood gave me the name. It was never because of the drug crack. And he ended it with, God is great. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love Joey Crack. And shout to Joey Crack. Shout to Fat Joe. I, I know recently he, uh, one of his brothers passed away. So definitely sending healing energy and, you know, our support for that. But Fat Joe is one of those people in the industry that is not an industry friend. He's a real friend. And if he considers you as a real friend, he calls, he'll check up on you. Not when things are great, not when things are bad. He does it frequently. So, and he does, he's been doing that with me for the, the, the past, I don't even know how long, every you know, a couple of days he just calls or just sends a text to say, hey, Envy, I love you. Just checking up on you. And he's been doing that for years. So good morning, Fat Joe. Good morning, Lorena. Good morning, uh, Azzy. Love you guys. And that is your rumor report. Thank you so much. All right. When we come back, we got the People's Choice Mix. Get your request in right now. 800-585-1051. Let me know what you want to hear. We'll get your request on. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.